Hey what is up guys my name is Gamsoon Ram and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to build this small modern house. Now the house we'll be building today is really awesome as it comes equipped with a nice open air garage which sits under this awesome looking deck. So without any further ado, let's get right into building it. First, we will start by marking out the position of the walls using oak wood planks. Once the walls are in place, we can now raise them up to a specific height. Next, we will add the ceiling over this first floor. So begin by connecting these walls at the top row by placing oak planks along the outer border. Now, we can simply fill in the two gaps with oak planks. We will also need to add a row of planks of this back wall here. And then add a plank that sticks out this corner. We will add in the quads wall. So first, build the first one in front of the window here and make it 4 blocks tall. Then go over 2 blocks and then make another column that connects at the top. At the right side, go over 2 blocks from the corner of the oak wall and place 4 quads blocks that are all 4 blocks tall. At the back, add two more quads walls aligned with the two at the front of the house. Now we can wrap upside down quad stairs around the building between the top of these quads walls. Next, we will add quartz walls for the second floor which will all be 4 blocks tall. Next, we will add oak walls on the second floor to separate the deck area. So first, add an oak door behind the squads wall at the center for the deck's entrance. Now place 3 oak planks next to the door, then 4 in the other direction. 
and then four more so that we end up with a zigzag shape I build this up another block but leave a couple of gaps for the windows here With those walls in place, we can now add in the roof. So begin by placing a border of quartz blocks around the house from top of these quartz walls. Once we have the initial border of the roof, we will then extend it out in other block except for the left side. Now add quartz blocks on top of the oak wall that separates the deck. So at the gap at the left side of the roof we will fill it with quartz blocks. Then we can fill in the rest of the roof with quartz slabs. Now add quartz slabs around the entire roof to finish it off. Next, we will add in all the remaining doors and windows. So come over to the right side and add in two doors between the walls here as this will be the main entrance once the staircase is put. Then at the front left, add in a railing on top of the upside down quad stairs using black stained glass panes. Now we can add windows in all the gaps between the quartz walls using black stained glass panes. Now let's add in a staircase that leads up to the entrance way. So at the right side place a two wide staircase of oak stairs starting at the edge of this quartz wall. Then build a quartz wall of the side of the staircase that slopes up with it. and also add quad stairs on top of the slope section and then add a railing using black stained glass panes
Next, we will add a walkway or driveway. So let's head under the deck to the garage area and start by replacing the grass between the oak walls with stone slabs. Also extend this border outside the garage area by 3 slabs or as long as you want your driveway or walkway to be. Then we will add leaves on top of the slabs. Now the right side make this border of stone slabs go out by 5 blocks so that it aligns with the left one. Also add these slabs around the corner here. And also add leaves on top of all these slabs. Now all we need to do is to replace all the grass within the stone slabs area with stone. Next, we will head inside to clean up the interior. First thing we need to do is to replace all the grass beneath us with oak planks. Once the floor is done, we can now add a door at this gap so there is a room for a bathroom or closet. Now let's add staircase along the slope wall using oak stairs. And then we can add a railing at the top using black stained glass panes. Now that the interior is all cleaned up, the furniture and decoration is all up to you guys. However, I will quickly show you how I did mine as an example. But that is going to be all for this modern house tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you so much for watching. As always, I would love to hear all your feedbacks. And don't forget to drop a like if you enjoyed as that would be much appreciated. So with that said, I hope to see you guys in the next video later. Till then, bye bye guys.